Woo, hey everyone, this is OG, the Ric Flair of Crypto Daily Trade Signals in the house, guys. And I just want to say much love and God bless each and every one of you. Are you ready to go down the crazy crypto rabbit hole with the OG? I know that you guys have been waiting all day, all night, all month, all week to watch this video, guys. And it is going to be a barn, a burner of a video. we got lots to talk about. We're seeing that the stonk market stinks right now and it's going down, dee -dee -dee -dee, down, down. We got a ton of earnings that are coming in as well, and they also stinkity stink stink out there. Uh, you know, if you guys went back and watched uh, this pre my previous video here, you would know that uh, Yellen the Felon uh, was in cuckoo land and on planet Zarg because uh, she was like saying, hey, there's no such thing as recession. This ain't happening. And it also looks like El Presidente at the White House were saying pretty much the same thing. So I guess they've been, they've been drinking the same water or something out there because they just believe don't believe that recession is a thing. They just think that, uh, you know, uh, everything is fine and dandy up in there. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that uh, they're totally wrong. They've been, they're, they're definitely been uh, drinking, the, drinking, 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 the, drinking the, the lala juice out there. That's for sure. I don't know what's going on with those two chuckleheads out there. But definitely a uh, recession is here. And uh, we got FOMC coming up this week. Boom, chakalaka. We've got uh, the GDP coming and that is not going to be good. And we got tons of earnings and uh, you know, the crypto contagion is continuing. We got SEC going after uh, Coinbase right now. And, uh, you know, I think there's going to be, you're going to see some more uh, crypto exchanges, uh, particularly small ones, could start uh, going down, de -de 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 down, down, uh, and crashing like crazy guys and stopping their withdrawals. So that is why, ladies and gentlemen, uh, amoebas, aliens, cats and dogs out there, you've got to get your freaking crypto off uh, central exchanges and you've got to get them off landed platforms and you've got to get them onto a hardware wallet. And uh, remember, if you don't don't own the keys you do not own the crypto out there and from that perspective uh you know the best way the best thing to do is get yourself a nano ledger wallet do it right now and the other thing is you know right now we're kind of like in in a bear cycle in a, in, in a definitely in a bear trend right now uh you know wrapped in a, a bull trend and it's possible right and uh you know typically you know when 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 the bottom starts to fall out of crypto and the broader markets this is when you want to get your crypto on a hardware wallet that way you protect yourselves because you know if you read the fine print of your uh of your your exchange agreements you know if they go bankrupt you're out of there so guys and gals it doesn't cost you any more out there to go and follow my code that's a code right there that's a promo code uh, so jump on that bitcoin uh, jump on that promo code guys what are you waiting for out there you know get it get it get it and if you don't like now ledger i'm also uh you know, hardware wallet agnostic. I've also got the tracer link out there. But from my perspective, the Nano Ledger wallet is what you want, what you want to get, what you need, and you're going to need it, and you're going to go get it. Go down there, check out the affiliate linky, winky, winky, winky. So right now, for the U.S. Uh, broader markets, we're seeing that the U.S. broader markets are uh, in tank mode, in tankity tank tank, dippity dip dip, in mode that's going down like crazy, guys. And uh, we're seeing that the Nasdaq is uh, down 1% right now, ping. And we're seeing that uh, the S&P and the Dow Jones is also down. So ding, 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 ding. It sucks out there right now. And we're seeing more and more earnings. We're seeing that Shopify stocks sinks, sinks or stinks. I guess uh, sinks and stinks is about the same. And it's down 15% after the company says it will lay off 10% of its uh, workers. Uh, Kajinga, Kajinga. Oh, so, you know, you know, when the earnings go down, the first people to, to get access, they start to cut costs. And some of those costs are the people's out there and it doesn't help when you make people unemployed because you know they have less money and uh, you just it just creates this cycle of stupidity out there guys and gals and we all know this is why this is happening uh you know it's just insane in the membrane and recession is here ouchie ouch 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 you know we also seeing ubs all warburg also mixed it missed its expectations as well and it was down Diddy, diddy, down, down as well. So that's not looking good. And, you know, US, uh, US, US BS, right? Uh, US BS is what I'm talking about right now is that US BS posted a net profitable, uh, you know, attributable to shareholders of a 2.18 billion below analyst expectations, guys. 
ha 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 ha. So they just tankity tank tank, and they are uh, they're they're not doing good out there. They're absolutely not doing good. So we're seeing that you know most of most of the uh, earnings reports are terrible, right there. The only thing that's going to be doing good is like oil and gas and all that kind of stuff because they they want to take as much money from you as possible out there. FOMC meaning it's coming, it's happening. Kachinga, you know it. I ain't gonna talk about it because I don't want to you know keep repeating myself. Now Mark Cuban out there, Mark Cuban out there had something to say about the Doge out there let me just pause that let me get that out of there and uh, he had something kind of interesting mark Cuban says dogecoin is fun it's like the starter crypto out there it's cheap it's easy and you can actually buy stuff with it so this is what uh, this is what uh, mark cuban said uh, let me increase my volume out there let's see what he got to say about the dozier Wozier. mark cuban loves a dozier it's like dogecoin dogecoin's fun right dogecoin is kind of the starter drug for crypto mm-hmm. you know it's cheap easy maybe cheap it is, right? It's just you can't like... can't do anything with Dogecoin, though, can you? Well, you can buy stuff. Go to Mavs, Mavs.com. You can buy tickets. He's chilling. You can buy He's chilling Dogecoin. Mavs. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, when people were buying and trading Dogecoin a lot, we were making thousands of dollars a week, 10000 a week here nice. and there, right? So it was real money for us. You know, back when it was under a penny, my my um, 12 year but back then he was like nine. He was like, oh, we got to buy Dogecoin on Robinhood. But it was his way the to kids? start. It's like Dogecoin. Dogecoin's fun. Right. Dogecoin is kind of the start. So, yeah, Dogecoin is fun. It's a starter. It's a it's a it's like a it's like a gateway crypto. And then once you get into Dogecoin and you, you learn how to play with it and you learn how to send it and receive it, it's really kind of like, you know, it's kind of like the crypto starter kit. So, you know, I love it. He loves it. And uh, that is a cool beans. And also a uh, Cuban is also saying this. Mark Cuban, uh, SEC regulation regulating crypto will be a nightmare, a nightmare, you know, and uh and I agree, you know, it's really going to be Im- very I- Im- impossible for the Security Exchange Commission to regulate crypto. And, you know, the Securities Exchange Commission regulating how cryptos are registered, according to Mark Cuban, will be nothing short of a nighty nightmare, guys, out there. So that is, that. I mean, I agree. It's going to be just so complicated. It's going to be, uh, 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 you know, and this is all, this all kind of Mark Cuban, this whole thing came out of the whole you know, Coinbase, insider trading, nine nine tokens that are considered securities. I mean, OMG. And, you know, like the, the judge that's, uh, you know, judiciary, do, you know, the judge that's overseeing the XRP case, he's also getting dang tired with the SEC out there as well because this thing is just dragging on. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, a comment's going to hit the earth by the time this case is finished. And, uh, you know, so Mark Cuban, he's, he's getting pretty uppity right now, but he's supporting the Doge. And he hasn't actually Mark Mark Cuban hasn't come out in a long time to actually talk about the Doja Wojo. So good on you, Mark. We love you. I love it, love it, love it. So uh, let's take a look at the heat. So if I had An- uh, Annabelle here, uh, you know Annabelle, uh, Annabelle the Debbie Downer Bears in 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 Da Nang. You guys know that. So I'm actually going on a rescue mission uh, on the thirtieth. I'm going on a rescue mission. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be bringing back uh, Annabelle. I'm gonna be bringing back Dino the Dino out there and the alien. So I'm bringing I'm bringing the I'm bringing the clan the clan back the trio the Annabelle the the Dino the Dino and uh, the uh, and the alien. So hell yeah! If you if you like that, smash the likes and subscribe, YB YB, and tell me if you want to see Annabelle Dino and the alien back on the channel, guys, because I definitely want want to see them back on the channel. So get some fun out there. So yeah, I didn't rip the head off of Annabelle. Some people have said in the comments, Annabelle is still very much. Uh, uh, the Debbie Downer Bear is still there. He's in Denang out there. He's in denial, though. He's in denial. They're all on denial out there. So we're seeing Itty Bitty Baby is still above $21,000 gingerly, gingerly. And I don't want to jinx it. And we're seeing that Ethereum is getting hammer, hammer time, hammer time, hammer time out there. And it's down 8.53%. It is what it is, boys and girls. Remember, we're about to see the biggest, hugest recession is about to come. It's going to go recession and it's going to be like an atomic bomb out there and also we're going to see depression recession then depression omg but the best hedge against inflation is going to be bitcoin cryptocurrency and it's going to be in like fleeing right so right now the best time to invest in crypto is when there is no interest and you know we're seeing right now if we, t- if we take a look at the you know like the the 
you know, Google, and if you do a Google, Google search, like in crypto, like nobody cares. Nobody cares about crypto right now. And if you see, you know, the amount of posts on Twitter and all this kind of stuff, no one's talking about, no, I mean, there's still people talking about, excuse me, I'm uh, correct myself. But, you know, the amount of uh, tweety twit twits by the twits out there, the crypto twits, is actually going down. So, you know, this is the best time, best time, best time. You know, when there's fear, by the dippy whippy whippies so this is also coming in from uh coming in from my friend your friend everybody's friend uh stock only lizard out there and he's saying that bitcoin is extremely oversold i know that we know that and overbought as well so you know and this is often a good indicator that we could be seeing the pumpage guys this 19 to 20 uh, thousand level is somewhat special since it is a double support uh, guys, and we saw this double support and the RSA 96 uh, on 07 2022 and the RSA 26. Another hint for the bottoms here. So, you know, once again, this is just more, uh, more you know, evidence out there that the bottom, the body be bottom is in like fleet, guys. So, guys, you know, I mean, sure, I mean, I mean, Bitcoin looks like poopoo shmata right now. It's like, like, oh, Bitcoin's going away. Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin's going down because it had a bull flag and uh, the, the sentiment is down. You know, the sentiment is going down. And I did tell you, I did warn you that because we've got the earnings are going to be in the in the toilet. <laughs> And we got, uh, you know, our friend, uh, our friend, uh, you know, FOMC, Gary, Gary, you know, whatever his name is, can't remember his name right now, whatever, not Gary Gensler, because that's the SEC, but the phone, the, uh, you know, whatever his name is, uh, you know, so it is what it is, guys, and I told you it's going down, and guess what, it's going down, so, you know, wake up, smell the coffee, you don't listen to OG, and if you're losing money, that's too bad for you, because you don't listen, you don't learn, you don't wake up, wake up, smell the coffee out there, uh, sure, you can say the OG's being a little bit uh, vitriolic out, uh, out there, yeah, I'm being vitriolic, I'm right there, I'm writing. so, you know, it is what it is, so we are seeing that Bitcoin is oversold, yeah, and that is a good bottom indicator, now, this is from Matthew here, Bitcoin has had false breakouts on multiple occasions this year, so, we have seen that, you know, Bitcoin will have like this, like this, uh, you know, this breakout, you know, a bear rally breakout, and then it will dump even more. So we've seen this before. This could be a, this could be a fake out, could be a fake out before we go down, d d d d down, down. And like I said, we could be seeing the idiot beta by bit going down to like 19. We got some supporty work, work, work around about uh, 19, 19. So my respect about 198 around this area, we could see Bitcoin going down. It is what it is. The great reset, the the you know the destruction of financial institutions, the death of fiat out there. And like I said, over the long term, we're going to be seeing that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is going to be the new the new new you know the new future. We saw that with mobile phones when we had like the internet, we had music, we had you know your your phone book and pictures and cameras, and it was all this whole convergence convergence into one uh one device and you know what really drove the adoption was all of that and also applications guys so we're seeing that with bitcoin we're seeing the same thing more utility more applications web3 not only with bitcoin ethereum and all the whole space is just growing day by day second by second guys so don't don't miss out don't miss the boat guys absolutely do not miss the boat out there so this is also coming in from stock money lasers out there. Exciting, exciting guys setting regression channels hits a previous all-time high supported by the MFI and the bottom guys. So this is cool guys. So we're seeing that we've seen this again here and here. And you know, after we had this whole, the MFI regression here, we did see that Bitcoin did reverse the upside and the money flow was looking good. The, money, the MFI is money flow index, in case you're wondering what that is, okay? It's not MoFro out there, it's a money flow index out there, okay? In case you're wondering what that is. So we did see this whole regression and guess what? You know, and then we saw this a little bit of accumulation. We're just entering this accumulation phase, and this could, I mean, this could drag on to like September, October ish, and then we're gonna break out, guys. It's just a matter of time. Titty, 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 time, time. So, CFTC is setting up a new tech innovation office to oversee cryptocurrency. Okay. Now, remember that the United States of America, or the United States of inflation out there, ain't the all, the only country on planet Earth. So, good you know, CFT sets up, but, you know, a lot of other countries are also, a lot of other uh, nationalities also have a crypto. So, it is what it is. SEC probing Coinbase for allegedly allowing U.S. users to trade unregistered security. So, once again, this is Gary Gensler, you know, trying to make a name for himself. I mean, he went, went after XRP, and it looks like he's failing. It's in the toilet. The judges, the judges fall asleep. 
honestly, he wants to end this case. So it looks like Gary Gensler is now, now uh, targeting and going after Coinbase out there. So, yeah, eh, uh, uh. so, you know, this is probably going to be dragging on for years and, uh, and, you know, taxpayers' money. I mean, who pays for that? Who pays for the judges to law? You know, come on, come on, Gary. It's taxpayers' money. Uh, wake up, wake up. Uh, you know, crypto here looks like new Chipotle encourages fans to buy the dip with the new 200,000 plus crypto game. And what happens is, you know, you can win free guacamole. Who wouldn't want free guacamole? Like, okay, really? Or you can buy, or like 516 users will win crypto. And the crypto is like Bitcoin. Dozier's in there. Dozier Wozier. Ethereum out there. So the Dozier Wozier. So Chipotle is loving the douche. Just like I'm loving the douche. You should be loving the douche. Guys, support the douche. And Welsh, man. Remember that? Remember that knucklehead snowflake that threw out his hard drive like nine years ago? Had like 8,000 Bitcoin out there. Now, this knucklehead that threw it out, uh, he spent like 11 million bucks searching for this dang thing. He ain't found it. But I must say, this guy's got some moxie for some cojones to, you know, keep looking for that, uh, the, the, the hard disk drive. You know, maybe somebody found it. Maybe OG found it already. You know what I mean? So it's gone it's gone it's gone right like he's been looking for for like uh nine years you don't think other people have been looking for come on come on come on so stop it already mr welsh man it, you ain't gonna find it if you spend nine years looking for that turd you ain't gonna find it consider the eight thousand itty bitty gone uh okay and, and i i'm telling you those you don't have it Hey, you know, I don't have it. I don't have it. So let's take a look at the crypto. What's going on? OMG. So we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is giving up most of the gains at uh, below 21,000. Eh. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is giving up more gains. It's at 1388. Eh. It's not looking so good. We're still po plus. We're still positive on the on the, on the 30 day. But, you know, who, who knows? We're seeing a BNB. You know, this is a big dumb, guys. This is a big, big quashy washy. Uh, you know, this is a big reset. That, that's why I said this in this morning. You know, wait till Friday. Wait till Friday after we get the FOMC out there and, uh, you know, the G uh, GDP data. And uh, by that time, you, we should see the big tank. And I think by Friday is going to be the time to buy. Remember, we got the uh, options and future expirations on Friday. This is the monthly expiration. So this is going to be a big, big deal. The whales are going to be manipulating Bitcoin down like a like a, like a, like a mother beep, beep out there. Uh, because they want to definitely be getting uh, the price down so they can buy more, you know. Definitely, that's what's going on. It's, it's, it's manipulation. And uh, we're seeing ADA is uh, at 45 cents. Tankity tank. Tank, tank, tank. Down 7 Eleven. Down 7 Eleven, guys. Get your idiot. 7 Eleven. It's on sale. It's on sale. It's 7 Eleven. We've seen Solana want to want to continue to go down and just take a, take a dumpity dump. Kick the balls for everybody out there. And we're seeing the Dozier Wozier. It's down about 6% right now. So that's not looking That's not. That's not not looking good at all for the Doge. So, yeah. Well, at least we got Mark Cuban in the Doge's corner. So that's good news. Dottie, what is going on out <laughs> there? It's down too. Uh, it's down like that 20% on the 30 days so that's that's kind of a not good i'm not going to say a bad word on on youtube i'm not going to do it and we're seeing but uh maticky wacky wag still up 20 23 percent uh on the last month but it's give, starting to give the game so it's looking pretty poopish mad out there for the coinage out there uh itty bitty baby is uh still above the minor capitulation that was adjusted to about 18k out there so it's looking pretty good from that perspective in you know the the pointing we're above the minor capitulation that's what i'm saying look a good part yeah og is also looking pretty good too you know and uh yeah it's going to be uh, definitely closing a weekly green candle a weekly red candle you know is now colorblind uh, out there so it looks like the dojo wozier has broken down from this confluence area this was acting as uh, support we have broken down from that bad boy and right there at the, it's kind of weird how we have this whole triangulation of this whole convergence right in here if you can see it and it looks like you know right now the dojo is at uh, six six cents in the house so you know it, it we need to stay above that else if not we're going to collapse into this zone and then we're just going to be going uh probably you know if we go down we're just going to be going ka-chunk ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, and then we could slight you know get into this zone here we don't want to get that zone stay away from that zone stay away from that zone and we're seeing ethereum right now is also going down it is uh blown past my resort resort support not my resort hello and uh, if we're not careful if we're not careful we could be seeing that ethereum could blow down uh down here and then we could start doing this kind of thing so hopefully it doesn't do that if it can stay above there and once uh bitcoin does a reversal then we can maybe see something like that 
Okay, uh, let's hope it. And you know, but it keeps getting rejected. At this at this, uh, at this darn darn it uh, dash dashy. Uh, uh, you know, it just keep getting rejected right here, guys. And we just saw it rejected time and time again. And finally, just like give up and collapse down. It is what it is. It's not looking good. DXY is pumping like a, like crazy out there. Uh, DXY today has gone up. Let's see what that, that it's up. It's up like uh, over half a percent today. So that's not good. That's not adding. That's not relieving the pressure. That's adding more pressure. And Shibi Weeby, the woof woof meme coin the number two dog when it comes to uh meme memes out there uh it's also uh, going down guys it's going down and uh if we don't get any you know if we don't get ab above this support uh, this resistance level then uh, the shibi wee is going to continue going down kuchunk and it's going to go down to like nine five uh, ish in the zone so that's what that is uh leverage apes let's take a look at leverage apes you know the usual story with these snowflakey knuckly knuckly heads out there we got 80 thousand uh traders have been wrecked that's about 247 million dollars have been lost uh, out there and uh yeah on the hourly oh it's short so oh 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 that's interesting maybe we can get a little bit of reversal but look at the four hours it's still long so eh, bitcoin is going to do its thing i think there's going to be a little bit of manipulation guys go back and watch the last video the crash guys the crash you're going to watch it the crash the crash guys uh well, go and uh follow me on twitter what are you guys doing you know I need more twits to follow me. And hey, if you're still watching, thank you very much. You made it this far. I would appreciate it. And I thank you for smashing the like and like likes. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, I'll call you, I'll call you, I'll subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. You're going to want it. And uh, guys and gals, don't forget to get the links once again. You know, we've got tons of stuff going on in linkage. We've got the Dogecoin tippy jar. You know, I, it's just kind of funny. Since I've had this Dogecoin tippy jar, not one person has sent not even like one Doge. Like, come on, guys. What is going on out there? Uh, you definitely got to get a Nano Ledger. Definitely want to do that. Get the Nano Ledger. What are you waiting for? Get your crypto off uh, lending platforms and uh, centralized exchanges. You know, if you don't control the keys, you don't control your crypto. Read the fine print of your user agreement. Uh, you don't want to get wrecked, wrecked, and burned out there. And, uh, you know, we got the shop, guys. Get the shop. Get become a Patreon member. Buy a channel, a coffee. The links are all there. The Linky Winkies are there if you want to use it or not. And, guys and gals, don't forget to uh, go and get the merch. Gear up with OG gear. Get the hat. Uh, get the mug. Now remember, all the gear, all the affiliates, all the super chats, uh, and the memberships. Get the memberships as well. All goes to charity out there. I appreciate it. Show some love it out there. So guys and gals, be blessed. I love it. You love it. Uh, it's been a long day here in Bangkok, Thailand. It's been a long day, but I love you guys to death, and it's a great time to be alive. So hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully it was fun. Hopefully you got a little bit of a chuckle out there. And, uh, you know, God bless you. I'll see you next time. Peace out.